this was a zinc plate. I do a lot of stuff with geometric sets. Mm -hmm. and, and I wanted to aqua tint this area, and I wanted to block this out with um, ground. And I couldn't get the ground to work. It was leaking all over the place. So I said, mm -hmm. what the hell, I'm just going to put tape on there. And if the acid bath eats the tape, so what? Just an experiment. Well, the acid had no effect on the tape whatsoever. When I took the plate out, I said, I like the way that tape looks. I'm going to print it. And, uh, you know, then here's another one. This was an etched plate. Oh, yeah, that's really cool. You know? And then here, this is one with two plastic plates. I like cool. that one, actually. That is cool. Yeah. It has neat depth and stuff. Well, but I really like these guys. Yeah. And now, what got you started on printing those? I share space uh, in the crossroads with a sculptor. His name is Riley Hopkins. And we were in the Asian market one day. And uh, the fact you can see a piece of this upstairs, he uh, uh, pulled out of his own store. He would be lying in a pack, an old ride. And but it's like two bucks or fifty of them. And he's unfolding this thing. He says, Well, I'm going to carve me one of these things. And he carved steel with oxyacetylene torch. Wow. Like a potter would dig their fingers into clay. He, he has dreams where he has torches coming out of his fingertips. When you see this upstairs, you'll see what I mean. So I'm looking at that and saying, you know, I can make a print out of those. So I got a bunch, I reconstituted them in the water, which is what you have to do to give them some body. Mm -hmm. And then I sprayed them with shellac so that they'd have some firmness to them. And I made an ink. And every time I have a lot of these green ones, everyone who sees these says, well, you just blew the lotus sleep for that page, didn't you? No, nope, that's a print. But it's sacrificial. Once you do it, it's over. You have to yeah. Out. So it's definitely, definitely a model print. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, I guess technically it's called a collagraph. Yeah, that's right. I've read that. Yeah. Or Sheen Collet. Um, no. Sheen Collet. Sheen Collet is when you add a piece of paper on top of a print. Is that and what? <coughs> you adhere the, a piece of paper to it. Yeah, it's a little part of a print. Yeah. Mm -hmm. this, this is a true print of a leaf, and the leaf winds up in the tub and the garbage stuff on the side. It's a lot of work, though. It's a lot of ink. And it's so fragile. You can see these edges. Mm -hmm. When you start rolling, things are peeling off and falling off. So do you just kind of pick it off by hand or does it, uh, do you have it on a piece of cardboard? A uh, piece of glass is what I work okay. on at, at UMKC. What I found is that it's, rather than rolling it on, it's easier to brush it on. Because you can, you can, I can put a little mineral spirits in there and then I can just move it and then I can dob the edges up so there's not too much that's going to leak out from the pressure of the press. Okay. That's cool. Mm -hmm. You got some neat ideas going. I like the I like the ones that are inked in white and printed them on black paper. Yeah, that's nice. It almost reminds me of a sand dollar. Yeah. What kind of black paper is that? <laughs> it's uh, not arches. Arches doesn't come black, does it? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think Stonehenge. It's, or? Uh, it's either that or Stonehenge. I got this from Daniel Smith. They're the only people that had forty by sixty. Mm, in a size. And it's like 15 bucks a page. Have you ever tried it with other kind of leaves? I've tried it with banana leaf, and there's just not enough geography. Um, and I was talking to a lady about a uh, lily leaf. Yeah. And they're a little smaller, and I think that would work. They're more leathery. This is like tissue paper. They're kind of cool. Oh, that's neat. I still get some 